Okay, guys, so what we've got here is a mochi nut, which is a donut that is made with the mochi skin, like the rice paper, rice skin. Look at that. And we've got the black sesame flavor. So here, hold this, and I'm going to bite it, and we'll see. I'll, I'll tell, you, tell you guys how this is. It's got a better center. Instead of like fluffy um, dough, like a donut, right? It's got a real chewy center, almost a little gummy. Wow, it's really got a really great texture. Oh boy. That's really good. On Ashby and uh, it's called Mochi Nut, M O C H I N U T. Donut, but a mochi swing on it. That's really good. I think y'all would like it. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so what we've got here is Taqueria La Familia. And this is on Ashby as well. It's actually right next to Mochi Nut. While we were waiting for our fish tacos to be made, we grabbed that mochi nut. Don't eat it all now, hon. <laughs> and what we've got here is, these are California fish tacos. And man, if you've never had these things, you need to try them because they are out of control, delicious. We're about ready to mow these down really quick. And here, I'll tell you, let me, let me, I'll, I'll, I'll let you enjoy this with me. Okay, as I prepare this, grab the one on the edge here. Let me grab the big one. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna take this. A little salsa verde. Okay, it's nice. I'm gonna grab this, like so. And I can already feel how crunchy it is. Oh man, this thing's so big. It's gonna be all over my face. And you can sort of, you get the feel for this, man. Now how I'm going to do this. There's more fish in here. There's two. This is actually two or three tacos worth of fish. So I don't know how I'm going to do this, but you guys will, this will be funny. Mm. Only in California. I don't have this in Georgia. Mm. Hell yeah. Good eating. Come by here and grab these tacos. They're really worth it. See you. Hey everybody, arriving here at Chez Panisse. And getting ready to go in for some culinary delights. This should be Excellent. I'll report once we get going. Okay, guys. So here I am outside of Chez Panisse, and um, I couldn't do any videos in there. It was just this way too gauche for me to pull out a camera at this kind of a joint. So I'll just go through what we had. Essentially, the bottom line is this food is kind of like your regular things that you'd almost, well, I can't really say regular, but things that you're accustomed to, but it, this is fine dining. So it's like high-end audio right there's all the other stuff and then this stuff it's not really like it's full-on exotic but here you can have something like we had this which was a carrot and parsnip soup but it was I mean so delicious with sorrel and creme fraiche you know which is like you know you you know what it is I'm not gonna explain what this shit is so I had this I had the little gems lettuce so this is a lettuce tangerine Taekwon radish with ginger vinaigrette. Delicious uh, salad to start. She had the carrot and parsnip snip soup, which was uh, so, it was so subtle, but so delicious. Um, it almost tasted like, like pumpkin or something like that. Then we had the pappardelle with wild mushroom, grimolata, aglio duovo, and parmesan. That was very, very nice. We also had the rockfish with the celery root puree turnips shard and Meyer lemon just a delicious really meaty rockfish is really good it was almost kind of steaky it was in between sort of a uh, um, like a swordfish and, and just something else that would be more flaky 
Um, and then for the dessert, we had this persimmon pudding with cognac, caramel, pomegranate, and creme chantilly, which was like a, a bread pudding almost. It was almost, it, it was not a wet pudding, it was cakey um, and, and, and just phenomenal. I mean, seriously, just, just fine food, you know, essentially fine American fare uh, that was just, I don't know how to explain it other than to say it's just everything is at a higher level. The pasta, even if you're just to have the straight noodle, even if you're just to have the pasta with butter, you know, it's at a fine level um, and very refined. So all in all, I think the whole experience was worth it. If you're in Berkeley, I'd say check this out. It's worth a try. Go up to the cafe because you get the same food essentially and the same level of quality and service that you do downstairs on the prefix menu and it's about half the cost. So anyways, see you. Okay, so here we are in Santa Rosa. I've already eaten half my fish taco. This is a blackened fish taco. We've got another little style of comida mexicana. Carnitas right here, I can't wait to dig into that. A chili relleno, which man, if you can get a good one, there's nothing like it, but so few people do them well. And uh, so anyways, I'll report back on this stuff. But it's Cali, it's basically Cali Mexican food, which is the bomb. So I'll be back soon. Okay guys, OCD Mikey, man, we've been on such a such a food binge, it's I'm, I'm not even recording any of this shit. And I and then I then I remember, man, I gotta film this for the for the everybody so they can see all the tribe. We just got some Golden Boy Pizza. We're in, we're in North Beach, San Francisco, and we got some Golden Boy Pizza. These are some grandma slices, Sicilian style, of course. And I had a combo piece here, man, and it's 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 fantastic, dude. I mean, this is this is some really good pie. I'm so far off my New Year's resolution diet; it's not even funny. I'm just chowing bread and all sorts of stuff, grease, but it's so good. Um, we just finished up at Dandelion Chocolate. We had some uh, hot chocolate there, the same kind that we got, that I told you guys about in Vegas. The actual, the, the place is from, it's from San Francisco. So here we are in San Francisco, show, show them out there. Show them where we are, North Beach. See all that? Okay. We're in North Beach. I used to live here, so I know my way around, man. It's great. I'm just driving us around. We got a rental car. We're cruising all around. We went to Johnson Leathers today. Check out Johnson Leathers on Polk Street. Um, I'm having a motorcycle leather jacket made there, and it's, um, man, they make all made in USA, full grain leather jackets, pants, and all that stuff. The ja jackets are like, I don't know, 500, 600 for like a real jacket, none of this bullshit cycle gear motorcycle jacket, like a real ass American made full grain leather motorcycle jacket, and you can get it whatever color you want, man, um, in whatever leather. They got all these different leathers. I had mine custom made. When I get it, I'm going to show you guys because it turned out badass. But anyways, so um, I think we're going to go down to San Jose to meet up with Zhao. And, and we're going to have some tea and, and a little tendon soup a little bit later. It's 547, so this is first dinner. We're making it light. Just a grandma slice, and then we're going to go on down and get some Chinese, some Taiwanese Chinese food. Um, anyways, so I'll see you guys around. Having a good time, man. Remember, you guys, live life to its... There's only one way to live life, and that's to its fullest. So enjoy every day like it's your last day. Fired up. See you. Oh, so, so good. Yum. Mm. All right, guys, see you. Okay, so now we are in Cupertino, and here is Duan Chun Jen. Uh, killer tendon soup. We're ready to chow. Here is tendon shank and tendon soup with handmade noodles. Like, look, look, look at these noodles. Look at these puppies. These are handmade. This is this is Taiwanese style. Here's the beef. You can see how soft it is, and it's tendon. And this is, trust me, it's fabulous. I thought maybe it would. I would be a little. I was a little scared to try tendon, but it is so delicious. Then we've got over here. This is like a boiled peanut or a braised peanut got something called golden kimchi here which is like almost like a ginger kimchi we got a pickled um pickled uh, cucumber um delicious 
This is, what is this, braised like a greens of some sort. And then over here we've got, we've got tendon tripe, roasted beef, thousand year egg, century egg, right? Just that one, yeah. Um, little interesting little things. This looks like a... That's tofu. That's tofu. Okay. So anyways, and then, and then, and then seaweed. This is really good stuff. Very interesting, very different. If you haven't tried Taiwanese, Chinese, it is, it is, I don't know, is it considered Chinese food? Yeah, it is. Tai, Taiwan style. Very different, very different than your typical Chinese food. Very interesting and worth a try. Highly recommend it. Mm. Yummy. Chewy noodles.